The ability of young children to remain calm during a crisis is often limited, but Savannah proved to be an exception. Her composed demeanor astounded both the paramedics and Bonham. Nonetheless, the adorable phone conversation between Jason and Savannah continues to resonate with many, leaving a lingering chatter of its charm and warmth. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Savannah, a five-year-old from Hancock County, Indiana, found herself in a situation no child should ever have to face, yet she handled it with such remarkable grace that she is now being hailed a hero. The incident began with an emergency call to the local 911 dispatcher, Jason Bonham. To his surprise, the person on the other end was a little girl, Savannah. Despite the gravity of the situation, her demeanor and the ensuing conversation left a significant impression on Jason and millions who later heard the call. Savannah was up late watching Frozen with her father, given that her mother was on a business trip. It was during this impromptu movie night that she heard disturbing sounds from the kitchen. With their pet dog Lulu barking incessantly, Savannah went to investigate. In the kitchen, Savannah found her father on the floor, clutching his chest. She was terrified, but remembered her parents' advice about emergency situations. Her father was unable to speak, indicating he was in critical condition. Savannah took the initiative to contact emergency services, dialing 911 from the kitchen wall phone. Her parents had taught her what to do in such situations, which now proved invaluable. Jason, the 911 operator, had been in this job for 11 years, but was amazed by Savannah's calm demeanor. He was determined to ensure Savannah didn't suffer the trauma he had experienced as a child in a similar situation. Jason's personal trauma had driven him to his career as a 911 operator. As a child, he had been unable to assist effectively when his own mother collapsed. Now he was committed to preventing Savannah from experiencing the same horror. Despite the challenging circumstances, Jason was able to gather crucial information about Savannah's father's condition. Savannah conveyed her father's symptoms of difficulty breathing and chest pains to Jason, which helped identify the emergency as a possible heart condition. As they waited for help, a seemingly trivial concern came up. Savannah worried that her father wasn't appropriately dressed in his pajamas. Although this concern was minor considering the seriousness of the situation, it lightened the mood and added an unexpected humor to the situation. Jason kept Savannah on the line distracting her with light conversation while making sure she was keeping an eye on her dad. The exchange also involved introductions to Lulu and a discussion on Frozen. Jason, recalling his own childhood trauma, asked Savannah to unlock the front door. He remembered how his delay in opening the door to the paramedics had potentially risked his mother's life. He was determined that Savannah would not have the same experience. Savannah kept communicating with Jason until the paramedics arrived. She performed admirably not only updating Jason about her father's condition, but also taking practical measures, like unlocking the front door for the paramedics. As the paramedics worked, Savannah displayed another admirable quality. She managed to keep Lulu calm and out of the way. Her ability to control the situation impressed the paramedics, one of whom stayed with Savannah until her mother was contacted. Savannah accompanied her father to the hospital, changing out of her pajamas for the journey. Once there, the staff were already aware. The hospital staff, already aware of Savannah's calm handling of the crisis at home, greeted her with warmth and admiration. Her father was immediately taken into surgery, while Savannah was comforted by nurses who ensured she was not alone during this distressing time. Upon receiving the news, Savannah's mother immediately left her business trip and rushed back home. The airline staff, informed about her situation, did everything they could to ensure her swift return. Meanwhile, in the hospital, Savannah was updated about her father's condition by a friendly pediatrician. Savannah's father made it through surgery successfully. The prompt response from Savannah and the effective care by the paramedics and the hospital staff contributed significantly to his survival. It was a close call, but thanks to his young daughter's calm and decisive actions, he was on the path to recovery. The story quickly spread throughout Hancock County, then to the rest of Indiana, and soon enough, the entire country. The community rallied around the family, offering support in many forms, including prepared meals, cards, and heartfelt messages. Savannah's heroism was celebrated, and she became an inspiration to many. Savannah's story captured the attention of national media outlets. She was interviewed by several television stations and newspapers. 
The recording of her 911 call was shared widely, showcasing the extraordinary calmness with which she handled the emergency. Savannah's story serves as a reminder to parents about the importance of teaching their children about emergencies and how to respond. Her example demonstrated that even a child as young as five could make a difference in a life-or-death situation.